Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Are you ready? You are for look the last different. Day? Huh? You are look different, teacher. Ah, really? Yes. The same, the same. Mm. Mm -hmm. The same glasses, the same haircut, the same. No, no tenía bigote. Oh, la semana pasada, <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Yes, it's correct, it's correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to have everybody here. I'm happy that you are connected because today we are going to review unit four and we are going to review unit five. Okay, it's excellent news. Okay, so remember that the, the idea is first begin with our partners talking a little bit, get to know how was the day, the different activities. Do you remember unit four and unit five? No, just so, so, no. No, no, remember unit five? I don't remember unit five. No problem, no problem. Unit four, unit five. Unit five is the future and unit four is the past. In the past, we had two forms. We had the past simple, okay? And also we had the idea for the present perfect, past simple and present perfect, okay? Do you remember the past simple? When you use the auxiliary did, and uh, some verbs you change in the affirmative sentence. Okay, good, very good. We use the auxiliary did for the past. All right, this is a simple past. We use the auxiliary, excellent. Also, we use the some verbs depend, regular, irregular, you have to change, excellent, okay, good. Do you remember the difference between the past simple and the present perfect? Um, I don't know, but the 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 past simple is for action that uh, said it. So, but the the what's the another one? The, the another name? Ah, the, past, the other uh, is the present perfect and the simple past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the present perfect in the simple past is for experience, and the another one is for um. I don't know, but uh, action in past. <laughs> okay, good in, idea. Specifically, in a specific date, right, or, or moment. Okay, excellent, very nice. Here, I'm going to share the screen of what Cesar said is very good. This is from review of unit four. It's the simple past mm -hmm. and the present perfect. Mm -hmm. Correct, the simple past is for completed events at a specific time in the past. And the present perfect is for only the experience, but not no time. It's any time from when you were born to now. This is the idea, okay? So today we're going to review to help us remember the difference, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we have several activities that we're going to do. We have many exercises. In this moment, I'm going to put the links in the chat, that way we can practice. The idea is to identify the difference. Remember, the big difference is, number one, that the simple past is with actions that are completed specifically at a time, okay? Number two, the present perfect is for the experiences, not for the time. This is for the experience, okay? In this moment, you should have the links. We have four links in the group, okay? Perdón, no escuché bien. What happened? Ah, I think Jancy is talking on the telephone, right, guys? 
maybe. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, so do you have, do you have the four links? Yes, okay. Look at the example number yes, one. Can. Example number one, link number one with Peter. Do you see Peter? This is link number one. Link number one. Teacher, excuse yes, me. Teacher. Can, can you send the, the links in the chat? Uh, WhatsApp, please. No, because I am not in WhatsApp. Yo estoy en la compu, no en el. Ah, en el okay, okay, okay. Pero okay, alguien okay. está, ahorita está alguien en, en, en el celular, en WhatsApp, para que lo pueda enviar. Uh, okay, yes. thank you, Miriam. Gracias. Yes, I can. Miriam. Miriam is going to send in this moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miriam. Okay. So, for example, number one, with my partner, what is it? Peter, and we have three options. Peter played, Peter has played, Peter have played. What is the correct answer? Uh, Peter played football yesterday. Okay, Peter played. Very good. Why? Because remember, the simple pass is for a specific time, specific moment, finish. And the present perfect is not specific. It's only for the experience. Okay. Si se fijan, en la parte arriba, hay una parte dice, do you need help? Ven la parte donde dice, do you need help? Yes. Yes. Okay. El que todavía le queda un poquito confundido o no le queda claro, le hacen clic allí. En do you need help? Y allí les va a explicar the present perfect and the simple past. Le va a dar toda la estructura, las razones, los ejemplos comparativos para que lo tengan ahí para no solo en esta clase, sino que en el futuro, si lo necesitan referencia, ahí lo tienen. It's there for you also, to have also for the future. Ok. Okay, let's take a look. So in this moment, now with our partner, we want to complete the four links, the four links with our partners. Okay, teacher, mm -hmm. the links are, are, are already in the WhatsApp. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much, Miriam. So if you don't have the links in the chat, they are in the WhatsApp. Excellent, we are ready to go. Okay, then let's go, let's make our partners. Remember, with the partners, you want to speak with your partner. Check why, just this, no this, okay? And we want to make sure we have it. Okay, teacher. Okay? All right, the four we have to complete.
Alejandra, do you have the links? Alejandra, do you have the links?
Okay, how did you do? You ready? It's clear? Que calladitos, what happened, so what happened? Uh -huh. So, so teacher, because uh, it's difficult uh, to learn uh, the different verbs because uh, not all, not all web verbs are, are the same. Uh -huh. Excellent. Irregular and regular verbs. It's difficult to to memorize. Ah, to memorize. very good. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. You are correct. The verbs are the most difficult part. I'm sorry, media. <laughs> I lost. I lost my but my uh, internet file. That <laughs> <laughs> I lost Caesar. <laughs> no problem. So is is good because. The next week that we don't have class, you need to study the verbs. You need to memorize. This is the important because you don't need me to memorize the verbs. You need to practice. So now that you see and you say, ay, no, no me puedo este verbo. Y en el pasado tampoco, ni el participio. Ah, excellent, excellent, Miriam. Me alegra mucho que se han dado cuenta ¿Qué es lo que tienen que estudiar y por qué? Because you cannot do the level of intermediate if you don't have the information for intermediate. Okay, so yes, we don't have class. Is is correct? We don't have class, but no, you don't study. Continue studying. Excellent. Good. Okay, and don't worry. It's not necessary memorize all the verbs. No, no. The important is every day. Every day is consistent. Okay. La mayoría de gente dice, ay, aprende ese 10 verbos. Yo no. Yo no. Con que cinco que se vaya aprendiendo. Cinco. Cinco hubieran sido 120 este mes. Digamos que hubiéramos tomado el fin de semana libre. Hubieran sido 80 este mes. El problema número uno es que Saben lo que tienen que hacer, pero no lo hacen. Don't worry. Tenemos vacación. Vamos a tener vacación casi dos semanas. Eh, mañana, pasado mañana y después la otra semana. Vamos a ver quién se aprende los 100 verbos que les tocaría en ese tiempo. Mínimo 50. Medium, yes. Right? Como que no mucho. La cara de Felipe, como que no mucho. <risa> Excellent, excellent. Okay. That's the new mission. Right? That's the new mission. The new mission is anótenlo. ¿Sabe cómo hacía yo cuando quería aprender los verbos? Todos los días lo anotaba en un post-it y lo pasaba por diferentes partes de la casa. Cuando había el espejo en mi cuarto, lo veía. Cuando iba al baño a cepillarme los dientes, lo veía. Cuando abría la refri, lo veía. Y solo eran tres post-its. Y no es que lo tenía que estudiar, pero hecho. Cada vez que lo veía, cada ratito que hacía una actividad, ahí estaba. No sé si ustedes tienen microondas en la parte de afuera de microondas, ahí también lo ponía los verbos. Y cada día a terminar, ¿qué me tomaba? Uno minuto de escribirlo. ¿Pero qué? No lo tenía que estar estudiando, estudiando. Pero cada vez que hacía una acción, ahí lo veía. Entonces, ¿qué me tocaba? Leerlos. ¿Qué me tocaba? Leerlos. Y de repente, cuando me iba dando cuenta, como de iba de cuarto en cuarto, el baño, la refri, ahí la... En todos lugares, ahí estaban. Así que pónganse en una forma de que se le hace más fácil para aprender las cosas. No, no tedioso, no que hay. Ok, read, read, wrote, eat, 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 eat. No, no. Póngalo en diferentes lugares para que así sea más fácil de que, ah, ok, es parte de su día a día viendo las cosas. Uh -huh. Así como la publicidad funciona, así como ven Coca-Cola en todos lados, Burger King, Pepsi, y sin querer queriendo de repente, mmm, se me antoja Burger King, pero ¿cómo sabe que existe? Ah, porque lo ha estado viendo, aunque tú no lo sentís. Eso es programar tu mente para que te ayude a hacer la cosa más fácil. ¿Ok? You're right, teacher. 
Excelente, excelente. Un pequeño tip, yo creo que a muchos le ayudaría a ver, porque a veces uno dice, no tengo tiempo para estudiar. Es que no tenés que estudiar, tenés que ponerlo, tenés que ser allí para que lo estés viendo, interactuando. All right. Now we're going to review unit five. Unit five is excellent because unit five is two words, going to and will. Do you remember the difference between going to and will? Yes, Jose. Going to, uh, oh, okay. okay, go ahead, Miriam. Go, go ahead, Miriam. go ahead, Jose. Okay, Jose Carlos, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> will es una acción que estamos pensando en hacer, pero no es seguro que se va a realizar. Y going to es algo que ya estamos seguros de que se va a realizar. Excellent, very good. That's it. That's it. So after the class, uh -huh, I am going to go to bed. Estoy seguro. I will, I will, I will watch a movie. I will eat. Maybe. Okay. Cada quien tiene la respuesta correcta. Como dice José Carlos, la diferencia es qué quieres decir. Está seguro? Going to. No está seguro? Will. Pero las dos formas están correctas. Así que si vos decís, I am going to eat dinner, está correcto. Si vos decís, I will eat dinner, está correcto. La diferencia es que me estás diciendo, estoy seguro de hacer la acción o no estoy seguro. Mm, lo estoy pensando. Ok. All right. So in this moment, we are going to talk with our partners for the future, for Saturday, for Sunday, for Friday, for next week, for tomorrow. Ya, mañana tiene una hora libre, una hora más cada día. What are you going to do? I know. I know, teacher. I will, I will go to bed early. I will sleep. I will relax. Dale, okay. Or I'm going to. Okay. All right, so let's make uh, new rooms, new partners. Okay, remember, we are going to talk about the future. Express, ask questions, okay? Le voy a dar un ejemplo. La idea no es solo pregunta respuesta. Diego Ferrer is going to be my example. Diego Ferrer, what are you going to do on Saturday? Um, let me check on Saturday. To the church in the afternoon, but in the morning, I will uh, uh, go visit my friend, maybe. Okay, hey, and what is the name of your friend? Ah, um, my friend is Josue, Joshua. Ah, uh, Joshua. <laughs> He's in English. And, and where does Joshua live? Uh, He lives it near. This is near. Is is the in another? Uh, I can say corner. Yes. Skin. I don't know. Say corner. Yes. Yes. Is is yes. It's close to my house. Ah, are you are you going to drink with Josué? Uh, maybe soda. <laughs> I don't drink. I, I don't. <laughs> And good, Diego. Thank you very much, Diego. This is the idea. Not only Diego answer the question. Ah, okay, chivo. Bye. Just do it. No, no. Hey. And how long do you know your? How long do you know Josué? Where did you meet Josué? Lo que queremos es de la unidad cuatro y cinco incorporarlo en una conversación normal, porque es normal hablar y hacer preguntas del pasado. Ah, y vas a ir a tal lugar, ah, y cómo conociste ese lugar, cómo conociste ah, y qué van a hacer es normal mezclar los tiempos ok, y eso es lo que queremos, que quede claro que going to will está bien pero en realidad no solo hablamos solo futuro, 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 futuro y no hablamos solo pasado, 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 pasado normalmente la conversación ah, es una mezcla entonces unit 4 and 5 in this moment we practice Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go.
Okay. Any questions with going to or will? Any questions with the past tense, how to use it? Not the chat. Only practice, right? Only is necessary practice, practice, practice. Okay. Let me help you guys out a little bit. Acuérdense que el grupo de chat continúa abierto. Continúa. Ahí pueden hablar, ahí pueden comunicarse, ahí pueden escribir, ahí pueden mandar links uno para el otro. Hey, encontré esta lista de verbo, encontré este canal de YouTube. Ahí está abierto para ustedes. Ok. Solo el hecho de que terminamos clase no significa que termina sus estudios. You continue, you keep going, right? And teacher, can we ask about the, the new level, right? Yes, yes, yes. In the, in the, uh, it's good question, Cesar. Uh, I, I see that in the chat, they didn't send the link and they didn't answer the people. Only for some people they sent to the, to the job. But not for yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's necessary check with the department or check with the human resource in the company to see what happened. But also, mm -hmm. also if you if you don't have response, send a WhatsApp, send the email to the administrator in the group of WhatsApp. Oh, okay. I I'm gonna write because I'm I have a scholarship, right? Ah, okay, okay. That's good, Cesar. Okay, so okay. I, I'm gonna write to, to somebody. In, in, yes, in, yes, yes. And you okay. can write today and they check tomorrow or you can send the email and then that way you have already completed. But uh -huh. but I, I know that, that um, Wednesday and Thursday, tomorrow and Thursday, no class. And next week, no class. The idea is begin again the class in the first week in April. Mm, okay. 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 Everybody's okay with the platform? No, no question. Nothing pending. I have a question, teacher. Yes, yes, Jose. Uh, terminamos la plataforma todos, pero decía de que nos iba a entregar el certificado hasta el día de mañana, 23. Es correcto eso? O ya tendríamos que tener acceso no. al certificado? Yo ya tengo acceso. I have it. Yo, yo ya, ya descargué tiene. mi certificado, ya lo descargué. Ya, lo descargué. Uh -huh. No me aparece a mí para descargar o, o no sé si me indican dónde. Oh, ah, sí, y no te progress. parece solicitar. En progress. En, 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 la, progress, en la pestaña hay progress. Donde dice uh -huh. solicitar. Donde ves la nota ahí de, en, en el progreso, en progress, ahí debe de haber. Y me tengo que ir a la, hasta la unidad 5 o hasta el examen final. No, donde dice progress. En la parte de arriba donde dice curso, Ajá. dice course, progress, dates. Es como eh, okay. debajo de lo azul, debajito del ah. azul, ahí. Progress. Ajá. Sí. Dale clic. Ajá. Ajá. Y ahí te sale la, la barrita de. de ah, okay. Y ahí te dice es que puedes ver el certificado. Ajá, en, en un cuadrito azul. Y ahí le das check y de ahí, ahí te redirige. <ríe> y de allí. <ríe> ok, ya lo tengo. Thank you. Hey, there you go. Ya decía él, me ah, se va a ir sin el certificado, ¿no? <ríe> <ríe> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bueno, ha sido un gran gusto tenerlos a todos. Espero que eh, les ayude los tips para poder mejorar. Los grupos de WhatsApp siguen allí, cualquier cosa. Ahí estamos para uh, si tienen alguna duda o algo, si les podamos ayudar. Ok. Thanks, teacher, hey, for your help. Thank you. All right. Muchas gracias, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Gracias. See you, Bye. my friends. See you. See you. Okay. See you.